shelf. Today I'm having mocha on my TV shelf. So what on my shelf? I am the translator. She said yes, she did bring someone and that my name is Bear. What is the information being transferred? The information that is being transferred are things such as music videos, photos, games, calendars, and so many more things due to the fact that it's a similar version to the iPhone. The way the iPod transfers information is also known as transverse waves. The iPod can store as many memories as possible which is dependent upon the period. Where does the information start? How does it get to the person's brain at the end? The information starts from a little chip from the iPod, and this is where all the memory is stored. The chips are usually able to contain a lot of memory, which keeps the velocity going. Frequency also has a big part to do with where the information starts. The reason for this is because we look at the iPod Touch, we learn how to use it, and we learn how to function it. The more we touch it, the more our brain will recognize the functions. The frequency of how fast the messages get to our brain is as fast as the speed of light. The units used for frequency is known as hertz. The amplitude can also influence how it gets to our brain because of the noise we hear from the iPod, such as music or videos. So how is the iPod effective at getting information to a person's brain? The iPod Touch is very effective at providing information for us. Instead of carrying a heavy, big, overheated laptop around, we can finally use Facebook or YouTube on the iPod Touch. It's a useful tool to have because we can receive all of our information on our tiny little iPod Touch. Since the iPod Touch has Wi-Fi, we can have access to the internet at a Wi-Fi location without worrying about buying internet with the phone. The iPod Touch also has a mail app already provided on the phone, so it's very easy to keep in touch with your contacts. And what form does it get from one point to another? Move. Transverse. So, what are the details about format, the way, or the each step of the transfer process? Oh, um, the iPod Touch, as soon as we touch the iPod Touch, it will recognize how big and small our finger is by us touching the iPod. As soon as it recognizes it, we will soon be able to touch the screen of the iPod, and our finger becomes the mouse that will control the movements. Our finger is like the energy that helps make the movement in the iPod. As our finger is transferring energy onto the iPod, it is sending waves to our brain that we are touching something. As the brain receives these waves, it then sends those waves back to our finger that is transferring energy onto the iPod in order for us to recognize completely what we are doing. So what do you like about this method of transferring information? Oh, do you have idea? Oh, hey, look at Shirikyama. Oh, you, you know, you're a hot job, you know, you're a hot job, you know, you're a hot job. I really enjoy using the iPod Touch because it's fun to use, easy to use, and it's not as such an expensive price. The iPod Touch allows us to put up our own background, lock our iPods, and put videos for our entertainment. Using the iPod Touch, I'm only a single touch away from Google, YouTube, Facebook, and Hotmail. The iPod Touch is also very simple to use. So how is the improvement over the iPod generation? Oh yeah, so yeah, the 
Over the few years, the iPod Touch has improved itself gradually. From the first generation, it now has speakers, allowing us to move ourselves freely while using it instead of worrying about the headphones. The iPod Touch has also outbeated the Zunes, which does not provide access to the internet. In our daily life, socially, through the iPod Touch, a lot of people use it to communicate with each other. They can easily go online or use it to play games with. Not only that, but they can also use it as an MP3, whereas they can listen to music or watch videos. There is plenty of apps where you can download for free as well, and pay for them. The iPod Touch has become one of many great entertainments that people enjoy using at home, work, and anywhere else. Now, economically, the iPod Touch has generated from one generation to the next. It upgrades pretty fast now. Technology is advancing each and every day. Every time a new iPod is upgraded, the price gets higher. A lot of people spend more money on the new and improved iPod because they believe it is more enjoyable. The expense on an iPod varies from how much gigabytes it has. The more memory it can store, the more expensive it is, and thus causing the economy to be able to gain more money from this product. And now culturally, the iPod is changing the way we communicate with each other, such as when texting on cell phones came out. People mostly teens to early mid-twenties are able to uphold fun and work with the iPod Touch. People are starting to interact with one another when they see an iPod Touch. Many different apps and all the different things that one is able to do with the iPod Touch keeps the conversations going. We as consumers are noticing the advancement in our world's technology. We just have to learn to conserve it. For if too much of our time is spent upon using the iPod Touch, we may begin to lose interest in interaction with others. Thanks for watching my show, and I, I want everybody to give a round of applause to Mo Cha and Mo Dai.